I will explain how this thing works. This part here is the one installed at your bearing hub and this pointed thing here is inserted at the slot at the lock of the bearing hub. It prevents also the loosening of the nut of our the bearings. In disengage mode, this three pointed part here is slotted here, here, and here. So if it's disengaged, this part here is slotted here then if it locks it will slide up here and position here it will lock in this position this part here prevents from going too far here or else it will again disengage because it will go down again at this slot so it's like this you see that part positioned here in disengage mode and to engage you'll see here this thing here will force to go up like that and stop at this point this is the stopper in engage mode since if it goes up it will press this thing here downwards I'll show you it will move like that and of course there's no space here to move backwards it will press down that's the highest point to push the gear down and lock the running hub that's the highest point and it will lock like that it's just so hard to push it down that's the engage position then if disengage that's why you need to reverse your car in order to disengage also after shifting back to two-wheel drive mode because this needs to go down again to the disengage position like that i will show you how this locking hub locks this part here is installed here at the center as you will notice here there are splines at the center it's where the the front axle slides into the front axle is locked in this place and there's a bearing here to hold center the axle at the outer end and at the inner end the needle bearing at your spindle is the one that holds it at center that's why the needle bearing that usually fails due to corrosion at the, the one installed at the spindle is, is also very important again the axle is locked in this spline the inner spline and there's this outer gear here that locks at the gears here just like that if in engage mode and you'll see the slots here the gear slots locks in place in the grooves here at this aluminum housing as you'll see here install this first here you'll see here if in disengage mode and if it's in two wheel drive the four wheel drive is not activated the axle is not moving it's just stationary so this part here is just steady and this part the housing of the locking hub is uh, bolted to your bearing hub then whenever you're using your car and think of my fingers as the axle it's not moving then the bearing hub can freely rotate with the axle just stationary then if you engage your four wheel drive the axle will now move then this is the one that locks the axle towards this housing because of the inner gear and the outer gear that locks this part to this part I'll show you here you just drop it here there you go so as you will see here it's now locked the inner gear and the outer gear as you will see i can't spin it anymore so this is in locked position so if the axle rotates 
it will also rotate your bearing hub, your wheel hub. So that's the engaged position. So in this engaged position, what pushes this out of its engagement is the spring here. That's why it's placed here first and installed like that. As you will see, I can now rotate this. But if you engage the four-wheel drive, the locking hub uh, is engaged, this thing pushes it downward. Pushes the spring downward together with the gear to lock it in place. So that the locking hub will activate. You lock into position and your front tires will also rotate. You cannot push this plastic thing inwards. Only the gear is pushed inwards. You'll see here. I push, pushing the gear inner, just like that. The purpose of the spring here is to absorb engagement shock, while the gear here, at the center part, is still finding its slot here. Because of course, when the four-wheel drive is engaged, and this gear here is pushed down by the locking mechanism here. It will still find its way, the gear tip will find its way to its proper slot. Let's say this is rotating, your wheel is rotating, then you engage your four-wheel drive, this is pushed down. It will still find its gear slot then there. It's now slotted, locked in place. And the gears are not yet fully engaged in its slot, and this is pushed down. It will absorb the shock then will free away and it's already in its proper gear slot there. If fully assembled, it's like this. This thing here pushes this to engage to its gear here and to its slots here. Again, when fully assembled, it's positioned like this. This one is the one that pushes this down. To lock the gear in place. This gear here is positioned at the center part of this gear because there's no gear at the center. So that's the neutral mode, the disengage mode. So the first thing that happens is when you engage your four-wheel drive, either four-wheel drive low gear or four-wheel drive high gear, when you shift it to four low or four high, the transfer case will now transmit rotating power to the front propeller towards the front differential. And then the axle will then turn. If the axle turns, this thing here, since the axle is slotted at this intersection, this thing here will rotate. And since this green part here, which is permanently locked in place at this part here, so if the axle rotates, this part here will also rotate and will slot into the highest position here like that then it will eventually push this gear mechanism down to this gears here to lock it in place and to now engage the four wheel drive and now when you disengage your four wheel drive you need to reverse your car in order that uh, this part here will go down to its lowest point going down to its lowest point this spring here will push this outer gear upwards will move out of its slot to disengage to disengage from the gear here like that so that's the engaged position then this is the disengaged position because of the constant spring pressure to lift it upwards this thing here which rotates together with the axle will now in turn rotate this green part and make its pushing action to push the gears to its lock position, to its engaged position. Watch carefully how this green part here pushes this gear to lock in this position and in this position so that your wheel hub will rotate. This position is in the disengaged position since it's in the lowest spot. This will move upwards here and lock into this position, the highest part, so that this green part will move inwards to push this thing here to lock here 
because of the inner gears and to lock here because of the outer gear I will carefully rotate this and watch this thing here go the highest spot and you will also notice that this green part will go on this part here and watch this green part here move outwards let's say the axle is now rotating because of four wheel drive engagement there you go you will see that's the fully engaged position then if you disengage your four wheel drive and you need to reverse your car this is what will happen see engage position disengage position engage position disengage position engage position disengage position fully engaged position so you'll see how it works in pushing this down towards this gear and this slot here to lock the auto locking hub so there you go i hope you understand how i explained it